There are four heat levels that'll help you master this frying pan. The first is medium-high. The flame should cover about three quarters of the bottom area. This setting is best for preheating or quickly stir-frying vegetables. The second is medium heat. Flame should cover around half of the bottom of the pan. This setting is used when searing a thick cut of meat, such as hamburger steaks and pork chops. The third is low heat. Flame should barely touch the surface of the pan. It's used when cooking food that tends to stick, like fried eggs, or giving an even sear on a thick cut of steak or vegetables. And finally, very low heat. The flame should not touch the surface of the pan. This setting is used when cooking flour recipes that can easily burn, such as pancakes or dumplings. Like any cast iron pan, you're going to want to preheat it. But this pan only takes 90 seconds. First, turn the heat to medium high. Let the pan warm up for 30 seconds and then add oil. Wait until the oil starts to smoke from the entire surface of the pan. And that's it, the pan is preheated. Unlike conventional stir fries, you don't need to shake the pan to toss the ingredients. Just stirring it inside the pan will remove the excess moisture. You'll be surprised how crisp these vegetables cook. Now, when you're cooking ingredients that tend to stick, or when you want to slowly and evenly sear a meat or vegetable, you're going to want to turn off the heat. By turning off the flame, the heat will be evenly distributed across the pan's surface. This is what will prevent the ingredients from sticking. So let's try it with some eggs. We're going to heat the pan for 30 seconds at medium high and then add oil. Once the oil starts to smoke, turn off the flame. And we're going to let the smoke subside. Once the smoke clears, crack in your eggs. After 10 to 30 seconds, the egg whites will begin to harden. This is when we'll turn the heat back on to low. Cook the eggs for a couple more minutes and they should have crispy edges that come right off the pan. So remember, there are four heat settings and you always want to preheat the pan. Preheat over medium-high heat for about 30 seconds, then add oil and wait for about 60 seconds. Once the oil starts to smoke from the entire surface of the pan, the pan is preheated and ready. When cooking ingredients that tend to stick, turn off the flame to further distribute the heat evenly, then wait for the smoke to clear before adding ingredients. You can always reference the booklet included with your frying pan. That's it. Happy cooking.